First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. After a foggy start, things have really improved here in southern Kentucky. Lots of sunshine, high pressure still in control, but we're awaiting now that cold front that will be coming through late tomorrow night into early Wednesday or early Thursday, and that is going to spell some big changes coming for our weekend. Right now on First Alert Live Doppler Radar, nothing showing there. Everything is nice and sunny, 78 degrees, still a few clouds, just popping up here and there. Results uh, are a remnant, I guess, of some of the fog that we had this morning. As we look at the temperature trend over the next seven days, this is it. This is why I love these kind of graphics because they tell the story pretty much of what's to come. 85, our average high, we're going to be right at that today. A little bit warmer than that tomorrow, a little bit more humidity coming back before the cold front arrives and then as the cold front comes through Wednesday night into Thursday the rain that is forecast on Thursday with the clouds will bring our temperatures down but behind the front that's when we're going to get the first real shot of fall like air for the weekend look at Saturday's high only 71 degrees and even as we get into the beginning of next week low to mid 70s with the lower dew points, the humidity levels will be down. It will feel like fall, as it should, here uh, as we get into the middle of September. Now, this morning, because of the fog and then the residual clouds that came from that, we're still seeing some like uh, Munfordville at 72. You're still somewhat cloudy. Your clouds beginning to break apart. And we're seeing some low 70s east, but then upper 70s and low 80s west where we're seeing a little bit more in the way of sunshine. In fact, many locations west of us did not see the dense fog this morning. And dew points are in the mid to upper 60s, but where we've got the fog or the clouds left over, now we're seeing some 70 degree dew points, Burksville and Munfordville, and close to it off to the east, where it's a little more humid because of that layer of moisture, the fog, and then the residual clouds after that. But as you can see, things have broken apart very nicely after uh, this same picture this morning you could not even see down to Russellville Road from our Doppler cam. The visibility was near zero, but now we're seeing a mostly sunny sky with a few clouds still off to our north. 78 degrees, current temperature reading, very light or either calm wind at this point, 61% humidity. The barometer rising. Now, Munfordville, within the last hour, you've gone from mainly cloudy to you're beginning to see some blue breaking through now up in Hart County, 72 degrees after a morning where you were socked in pretty uh, deep with the uh, fog. And so was Litchfield. You're at 77. You're beginning to see a breakup in the clouds up in Grayson County as well. As we head a little bit further east, here's Glasgow, mainly sunny, 74. Tompkinsville, you had a lot of fog this morning, and now skies are mainly sunny. Down in Monroe County, you're at 74, and of course, the uh, uh, James Comer announcement there taking place at the uh, Monroe County Courthouse, so uh, it did improve for those folks being outdoors. Edmonton, you're also seeing improved weather, 74 degrees there in Metcalf County, and here you can see some of the fog that has now just become a kind of a stratus layer with some cumulus clouds off in the distance at Mammoth Cave. 74 is your temperature. 78 at the Bowling Green Airport. It's 83 in St. Louis, but only 69 in Indianapolis. Three degrees cooler than yesterday. Now we are 10 degrees warmer than we were at midday yesterday. No rain showing up anywhere on the radar here. Complex of thunderstorms off north of us is blowing some clouds down our way today, and that's about all we'll see is just a mix of sun and clouds. Maybe a shower out in eastern Kentucky, but the rain chances even there are not that great. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. Breezy, too, with more southerly winds just ahead of our cold front, which is going to bring us that next best chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night and through the day on Thursday. Then behind it, there comes that cooler fall like air for the weekend. 86 today, mostly sunny, 68 and partly cloudy for tonight. There could be some more fog tomorrow morning. 89 tomorrow, breezy, warmer, 
Increasing clouds, chance of showers tomorrow night and then into Thursday, turning cooler. Maybe a pop up shower late day Friday behind that system, but it is the weekend when it's going to be very nice and beautiful, very fall like. Get ready for it. We are back with more Midday Live in just a minute.